Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Slimy Green Garage where we like to, to the best of our ability, honor God. You know what, respect the flag and the men and women, our soldiers and our peacekeepers, you know what, who defend this country and allow me and you to go out there and do awesome things. We're coming at you this episode with just, well, this is as far as we got with the old 1988 Wagon Queen Country Squire Ford LTD Wagon build. All I wanted to do this year was get front end done, the eight headlights. That's all I wanted to do before vacation. But we had just a little extra time, so we went ahead and we squeezed every ounce of awesomeness we could get out of this car. It's, uh, it's an older car, it's, it's ugly, it's beautiful, right? It's just the right amount of ugly. Uh, I've really enjoyed working on this car. Had a great time working with you, Uncle Tom. Uh, Ron, AKA Rusty, uh, for the help you gave me working uh, down here on the car to get it ready for this vacation. Thank you to my wife, Jeannie, for putting up with my sorry butt. It's, I know it's stressful. I know it is. So if you could all just pray for her, that'd be fantastic. But look, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, get you around the car, and then we're gonna just go flashback in time. I'm gonna show you all the fun stuff that happened along the way in the making of this particular ride that we're going to be taking on vacation. So without further ado, a quick spin around the car and back in time we go. Eight headlights. I know what you're thinking. It's beautiful. I agree with you. Can't argue. Grill. We did not do the movie car grill because here's the deal. I like airflow. I've had a few of these cars. They get hot. They overheat. It's just a little 302 in this car and it's a lot of weight. And do you see Edna on top? Well, she's just a big windbag, a big sail up there. And so you get about 55 miles an hour and, and, and AC quits working because, well, it's just working too hard. So hi, Edna, no offense. Anyway, we, uh, we got some Rallican brown and tan from the local Mercer's store here in town. God bless you guys for helping me out. A uh, big thanks to the guys at O'Reilly's here in town for being patient with me and Jordan, I know you did your best to get me the right color of green, but that didn't work out. It's okay, maybe next time. Anyway, moving on, Mr. Luke Lutz Motors. Yeah, that's right, that's for right from the movie. Right from the movie, and we're just back around to the other side. You know, I know you guys could stare at this all day long, I have in fact, and just admire the beauty of the car. You know, just a quick look on the interior. This baby has plush seats. And we ever we even added, added an extra little cooling fan there to get the AC to maybe actually get some air to the back of the car, but uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Look, if you're liking what you're seeing, if this is your first time to my, my YouTube channel, I'm really into old muscle cars, but this doesn't apply, I know. But if you like old, cool, or unique stuff, that's kind of what we're gonna have here on the channel. Uh, my dad was kind of a goofy fellow, but had a great love for people. And uh, I'm just trying to honor him. You know, like I said, and honor the Lord on this channel. I think uh, we could all do a better job of letting people know that we care. Everybody's going through something. So let's all have some fun together. And uh, by the way, I go by Mighty Mark. I've had that nickname since I was a little kid. I gave it to myself. And so if you have a superhero name, why don't you just go ahead and zip that down into the old comment section, because I'd like to know, and if you got anything special you'd like to say about the car, or about the video, or if you just don't like what you're seeing, hey, let me know. I'm open uh, to, to hearing all that stuff, so God bless you guys, and we're gonna rewind the time. GoPro, stop. What's going on, fam? We're back down here at the garage, as we were the last time you saw me. Well, duh, that's where all the work gets done. 1988 LTD Crown Victoria, Country Squire, Wagon Queen. Did we say Wagon Queen already? I don't know, but look, here we are. We got this front end done. We got this thing wired up. It is time. It's time to not only bring the bumper over here, but we're gonna go ahead and bring our bezels in here. We're just gonna temporarily just kind of stick them on there so we can jack that bumper up into place. And then we got to decide where we're gonna make those cuts to make it movie. Movie accurate. So, 
without further ado, let's just keep on moving it. Alice, come here. Come over here. What do you think about our Ford Crown Victoria station wagon? Can you tell me? It's beautiful, isn't it? Can you say me? Yes. Can you say beautiful? Oh, so beautiful. See, Alice knows. She knows what's cool. High five. Oh, you're so strong. Oh, I love you. Hey, can you say God bless you? I trust you. Mm-hmm. And God bless you, kids, as well. GoPro, stop video. Hmm. You know, on a hot summer day, a guy doesn't want to get in a real big hurry. But as you can see, we got this beautiful Beautiful, big, how about big and beautiful 1988 Ford LTD Crown Victoria Country Squire Wagon Queen. Oh, it just comes out so smooth, right? I told you, superhero. You saw it. I just. Look at that. That's gonna hurt. That just right in the front. Yeah, that, that, I'm, not, I'm not done yet. I'm no slouch. Now I'm not always gonna bring stuff up because you know. I hung about 15 more shirts up, and I did the same thing. I turned hey. them all so you can just scroll through them and see. Oh. Now I just want you guys to see my wife. She's not always looking like pebbles. I mean, sometimes she puts on regular clothes like normal people wear. You know? Can you want to say anything today? No. She's got nothing. <laughs> you know? Are you ever gonna have anything? That, these are. This is like our second family. I don't family. have it here. You're right. She finally. <laughs> I have coffee. Once a week on Sunday, she doesn't drink <laughs> beer until afternoon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's still morning, obviously. So we'll pray for you later. Okay, so I just told Ron I had something that's pretty important to bring up to the, the group. You have a baby. No. However, this is important that you all pay attention. I sanded enough Bondo off that car to fill a hole in the Titanic. And so, just for future reference, just little super thin coats of Bondo because my hands are vibrating and I, I don't think I'm done yet either so just if you ever are thinking about getting into body work it's been so long since I did any very sparingly on the Bondo or you will regret it I promise you guaranteed so that's all I need to tell you guys could have filled the hole in the Titanic with all the Bondo I ground off that car you're here don't you believe I, a little, if a little bit's good, a lot's better? Uh, most times, I would agree with that statement, but not in the uh, hmm. not in the bond department. I I'm wore out already. You ain't done. I ain't, I ain't even close to being done. You gotta hit that door pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the door, yeah. Well, and you know there are there are places where you, you, know, you need you need a little bond over. Yeah. But that was we overkilled it. Well, how many hours did you say? It's. It was probably not as many hours as I feel like it's been. I was here before 12, it was two, two and a half hours. Yeah, I mean, I think I just, just a reminder, it's like it's been all the time since I did body work, but that was ridiculous. So, never learned. That's all we can do. <laughs> Good. GoPro, stop. All right, gals and girls, I don't know if you can see all the cotton floating in the air. It is like a rain cloud out here. Look. Oh, look, there's a piece floating by right there. Oh, look, there's another one. Well, you know what? We had to paint. We didn't have time to wait. We got a vacation to take. And if you look in our paint here, oh man, I know you guys are just excited to see the green, but we've got little pieces of cotton all over the freaking place but you gotta love you gotta love seeing a car like that this has been a full day we uh 
not only did we do some bondo, some sanding, we also primered and sanded and painted and did a little sanding because of the cotton and then recoated. Uh, I did not, I got a full gallon of paint used not quite three quarters, but uh, they shorted me on hardener, so, and I was mixing it per spec. Eight parts paint, one part a hardener, and one part reducer. So, it's not perfect, fellas. I'm gonna just tell you guys that uh, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty dang nice. I mean, it's definitely everything that we were hoping it would be. There's a few spots where, had I had another day to spend, we could have we could have made it even prettier than it is. But this is the stage that we're at. Now I wanted to show all you guys, and uh, I'm just pretty happy to be at this stage. All right, kids, here comes the moment of truth, at least, uh, well, one of the main moments of truth on this particular car. We're gonna go ahead and pull the paper, pull the tape, and we'll see where we're at with the current state of things. So, Ron, if you wanna help, you can. I know, it looks like he's gonna help. I like this. Maybe? Yeah, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Hey, look. You know what, not everybody likes me on camera and I'd appreciate it if you guys would just stop pressuring him already. He's, he'll come over here if he wants to. Three, come people. What happened realistically is I ran out of my newer tape that I had. And so we were using some old tape, which wasn't sticking for crap, but I used it anyway. No, oh, so this is what you get. All in all though, we sent a little bit wet sanded anyway, the green, so a little overspray. And a little brown too, but it's not. Horrible. I mean, it's horrible, but it's not. You know what I mean? We're kind of going for horrible. Okay.
first time Ron will have seen it. He didn't see the brown go on yesterday. So this was kind of exciting for you too. <laughs> Jeff was picked up ugly brown. Thank you. We just, by the way, got this brake assembly put back together. That was just all in all much harder than it should have been. That happens a lot. I still can't believe it was just last Friday when we were pulling all the original trim off the car. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 